hi guys and welcome back to the channel so today I'm going to be making these festival fried bammy and steam fish with okra and crackers cooked down in coconut milk oh my word just stick around and see how I made this sumptuous dish First thing I'm going to be doing is to make the festival dough because that needs to put a set to rest. So cornmeal, flour, sugar, cinnamon or nutmeg, salt and then just bring it together with water. Well first I'm going to mix it with this spoon and then bring it together with water just as a nice firm dough. Not too hard, not sticky soft either. So clean hands and then get myself right into the mix. So it's okay to use your hands to knead but be sure that they're washed clean before and I have washed mine. Now I'm dreaming of Jamaica, the beach, in particular Hellshire Beach and I can imagine the stall holders with their fish ready for customers. I can smell the water. I can hear the ocean i'm just longing for jamaica guys so as i need this festival mixed together that's what i'm thinking and by the way it's quite easy to make your own festival at home if you remember this little formula it does help so two one half pinch pinch or a little more so again two one half pinch pinch two parts flour one part cornmeal half part sugar and then pinch of salt or a little more if you need it and pinch of nutmeg or cinnamon or mixed spice whichever one but so easy to make so the next thing to work on is the bami so i've cut one bami which is a um, cassava bread like thing <laughs> so I've cut one in four I've um, put a little bit of salt in some coconut milk and then just stirred that together and I'm going to soak the bammies in the coconut milk yum 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 so I'm going to pour some on top and then I'm going to turn them over so that they absorb all that lovely coconut milk. So when they're fried, they have that awesome taste, flavor, packed, people. And here now, the star of the show, two nice, fat, juicy fish with a little bit of salt, black pepper, and also pimento, ground pimento. So we're ready to roll now, and I've got my ingredients here that I'm going to be using in this steamed fish. So there's pumpkin, um, garlic, thyme, pepper, piece of yellow sweet pepper, piece of orange sweet pepper, scallion, onion, carrots, and the bass of the show scotch bonnet and of course what is it without okra so i'm going to clean all these up now and then and then um put them in oh noodle people a caribbean favorite grassroot jamaican favorite cup flavor soup noodle soup mix and you can use any one of them you rather we like this one so I'm going to get everything washed and then I'm going to prep them. Everything has been prepped now guys so I'm just going to, no they've been cleaned. I'm going to prep them now. So I did find as well a little Irish potato which I'm also going to use. So first thing let me peel the Irish potato. Mm -hmm. 
right I'm going to do peppers next Then the yellow one, same treatment. Yep. Starting to look nice and colorful in it. Yeah. Pumpkin now. Next, let's do carrots. Now I have to peel those. So let's put off the ends first. Top and tail them. Peel them. And then same treatment. Right, I'm going to do the last ones which are onion, scallion, garlic and then the scotch bunny pepper because I'm going to start off by sauteing those so lightly frying those before I add the coconut milk and then the veggies for them to cook down in so it's gonna be epic only thing will be missing is the beach <laughs> So all the veggies have been prepped, so now it's time to get the party on the road. Let's get the show on the road. So going over now to the kitchen, to the stove. <laughs> right, so now we're ready to get the show on the road. So we've got our veggies that I prepped. We've got the bami, still soaking in coconut milk. We've got okra. We've got the stars of the show, two fish, well seasoned. I've got the noodle these that I'm going to saute first which is onion, scallion, garlic and I also have the festival mix that you saw me make earlier and the coconut milk right rich nice coconut milk so I'm going to start things off now oh I'm going to do I'm going to do the fish in this frying pan um, that's not too deep not too shallow either and then I have a heavy cast iron pot that I'm going to do the festival and bami in. Let's get some oil in this pot. Just to saute the veggies. That's enough. Get it hot. Make sure it's cold the bottom of the pan. Then we can start business. So once I get the flavors out of these, 
into the oil then I'll turn the flame down just a little bit just to make it cool down so that when I put the coconut milk it doesn't splash and make a mess nor burn me but the smell from these right now guys good 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 I think I'm going to move that one to the front just so you can see it even better. So I'll move this one and you can see right down in the pot. Right. So those have sauteed enough now. You to turn the flame down and then add the coconut milk. And so far, all that is in the coconut milk is a little salt. That's it. Coconut milk, freshly squeezed coconut milk and salt. Yeah. So, there's the creamy coconut milk and it has not splashed me up. So, I'm turning the flame back up and I'm going to start adding the veggies. Take your time, take your time. So these are the peppers, carrots, pumpkin, Irish potato, thyme, and then did I say the peppers are the different colors of peppers. And I'm going to season the pot and allow this to just simmer before I get the fish in. Looking good. Looking nice. Hi. <laughs> right, what do we have that we can put in the pot? Well, first we have our cock flavor noodle soup. Which is going to give it another level of flavor there's enough salt in here so that I don't need to add any more I've added a little bit with the with the coconut milk later on I'll taste it to see if I do need to add any more but right now I doubt it right let's see if we've got pimento yes So ground pimento going in. About 10 pimento seeds. But I don't have the seeds, I have the ground one. So using that. And I'm also going to be putting some fish seasoning. So there. Fish, fish seasoning. There's some fish seasoning as, as well already on the fish. You know what would give it another dimension, peeps? Some. Um, oh, did I put the scotch bonnet? Oh, yes, I did put the scotch bonnet, yes. But I think some jerk seasoning. So I'm going to put some after it boiled down a little bit. So let's give this a stir. Allow it to simmer down some more. Cook the potato and the pumpkin. Then we can see what's next. Like the color, love the color. We've gone a few minutes now, peeps, and I'm going to add the Grace Jamaican Jerk Seasoning. And this one has hot. <laughs> So I'm not putting any more than that, just the tip of the knife. So I'm going to cover this now guys and allow it to just simmer away. And I'm going to start on the festival. So this over here is where it's going to be at now.
flame on. Let's put the oil in now for the festival. Right, whilst I wait for this, um, the oil to heat up, I'm going to just add the okra straight in. And shortly after the fish is going in, as soon as the pumpkin is cooked, then we're good to go. Guys, the pumpkin just need a little way to go, so I think I'm going to add the fish now and then butter. Could I do well with two more fish? <laughs> Guys, it's looking the part. Let me turn her over without breaking her up. Pumpkin cooked to perfection. Come on, fish. Yes. Guys, what say ye? I'm a look. Steam fish, crackers. I'm going to add some crackers to the top, but just at the very end. So this need a little bit more time now. And in the meantime, I'm going to attend to the festival. That's next. Yeah. So now that we're near the end, I can put both four crackers in. Let's do five. <laughs> yes. Fish cooked. Everything in here is cooked. Just turning the crackers over. And then soon the boat will land. Taste this piece of pumpkin. Then I'm going to turn up the flame just a little bit so I can do the bummy. Let me gently lower these in.
everything now finished. So it's just to put together now and serve. Woohoo! Check out these beauties, guys. Bami soaked in coconut milk and fried festival with the correct amount of everything in it and steamed fish in coconut milk with crackers and okra oh my word only hell shall be true missing <laughs> Yes, so now we're going, to, we're going to go in and tell you how it is. Right. Go in it, go in it. Fish veggies. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flavor, fish. Mm -hmm. Goofy. Oi, watch bone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys. Elsha, mm. not none this. <laughs> Only thing missing is the is the beach. Mm. Not good. Mm. Mm. Word. Let me come and enjoy this. The spice level in the fish, just right. And the upper level, just right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Great job. Mm -hmm. You can sit down and enjoy this piece. It's only one little pool for putting my foot in it. <laughs> <laughs> Should have something. Oh, yeah. mm. But we'll see what we have. But this, guys, delicious, delicious, delicious. Yeah, definitely. So was that good or was that good? You yeah, tell was me. Good. <laughs> proof of it. There's the proof. It was very, very good.